Joe Andreessen. Kind of unlikely story here. We saw him last week kind of falling out. And for me, at least, it was kind of, you know, is this just a quick little flash in the pan? Preseason fun story. Then he has this game and he ended up playing almost the whole game. He was out there with the ones. He had 12 total tackles, two tackles for loss. And just kind of watching him reading and diagnosing plays and moving sideline to sideline and triggering downhill and even some of his coverage reps, he looked like he belonged. And it's it's easy to go to, you know, it's the preseason, you know, backups are out there, whatnot. This was a game where the Steelers played their two quarterbacks that are duking it out for for QB1, and they they played the whole game um, in Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. And, look, I'm not sitting here saying that these guys are, you know, world burners or anything, top flight quarterbacks in the NFL. But it's not like, you know, Andreessen and, and this defense as a whole – you know, we're out there playing against the fourth strings and looking good. These are one of those two dudes is going to be an NFL starting quarterback. And if I'm being honest, they're probably both going to be NFL starting quarterbacks this year because whoever gets the job first is is going to end up getting benched for the other one. Um, but in particular, the play that really sticks out to me for Joe Andreessen was against Justin Fields and... Justin Fields, for as much as he might not be a great NFL quarterback, he is an elite athlete. He has made teams pay with his legs. He has great athleticism. And he, you know, breaks the pocket and he's, you know, going, trying to run, pick up a first down. And Andreessen takes this great angle, you know, great pursuit speed and gets a solo tackle, you know, open field against Justin Fields, and that's impressive. Uh, Overall, I just, I felt like he looked like he belonged there, and this is going from a guy that, you know, we can call him an undrafted free agent. Like, that that's what he is, but it, it's even more than that. This guy was a tryout player. For my money, a guy that, you know, only got a look you know, a, a quick nod as, uh, you know, he grew up in Buffalo. He went to UB. Like, let's let him get a, some reps on the practice field and, you know, see what happens. Not a name that I was ever expecting to really stick around. And now I'm sitting here two se- preseason games down and I'm looking at, like, how do you keep this guy off the roster with what he's done in two weeks, even if that's, you know, roster depth? And then we add into it the injuries piling up. Obviously, Matt Milano, just an absolutely devastating injury. Looking like we're going to be out without him at at least most of the season again. You have Bernard's a little banged up. Uh, It looks like he was going to play tonight, kind of similar to Josh Allen, you know, they don't end up playing. There were some rainy conditions before the game. Guessing with some of the other stuff going on, they just didn't want to take a chance. Uh, but you also have Bale Inspector as one of your depth linebackers who's never been able to stay healthy. Um, Nicholas Moreau is dealing with some stuff. All of a sudden, we're getting thin on numbers again because for some reason... With the Bills, it's not just a rash of injuries they get. It's a rash of injuries that are all at the same position, which is super fun. But even if those injuries hadn't been happening, this is a young guy who is playing as well as any of the depth linebackers on the team right now. And like I said, even if the injuries weren't happening... I think it'd be a hard hard sell to not 
get this guy on the 53 somewhere. 